So, coming on to a personal side, your major ideals that you believe are uh, spirituality, money and including stockholding. But then the spirituality and money are unique, opposite almost uh, concepts. So, how do you relate to one another? If you look at Indian Vedic system, I would feel Indian Vedic system is a most complete aspect. East and the West have two methods to looking at money. West is outward, goes into only the logical spectrum. East, specifically India, not today's India, the ancient India, had everything in harmony. That means somewhere there should be a blend of spirituality, of materialism, of joy, happiness, bliss. Everything originates at the same point. Somewhere uh, the legacy got lost, the secrets got lost and we divided two pathways. One was uh, the pathway of spirituality is different and the pathway of material is different and if we are into a material pathway, spirituality has to be forgotten and if you are in a spiritual pathway, forget materialism. I think it's a biggest wrong belief that has ever crept into our Indian system. It's a very sad. In fact, if you look at right across, Spirituality is not something that we need to do. Spirituality should happen on its own. When can spirituality happen on its own? When my money needs are taken care of very well. If my money needs are taken care of very well, when the life is in a full structure, spirituality actually happens. There was a lady who was arguing with me on this. There are many vital points which you touch, which are very argumentative because it's evolving the whole life. A lady came and told me that I don't believe that spirituality and money can be together. I said, okay ma'am, what do you believe in? He said, I believe in spirituality. I said, okay, you must be into some organization or guru. She named a top organization and some guru. I said, okay, fine. I said, uh, just wonder if there is a large talk by your guru. What happens? Who's sitting on the first two, three rows? And where do you sit? Suddenly strike her. The first two, three rows are always occupied by people who have a lot of money, who are well-wishers, who give donations or whatever. They are vital people. Other people who don't have money at all, they're sitting at the end, fag end. That's when she realized that, hey, am I fighting with uh, material and spiritual put together? That's what actually happens. Somewhere we need to realize that money, that is the material and the spiritual, both can coexist. And that's the greatest gift of Money Workshop is, if somebody, I would implore people that come to Money Workshop to realize the biggest spiritual powers of your life. And also come to the Money Workshop to strengthen your aspects of uh, materialism. I've seen a lot of people who are so-called spiritualistic, but who don't have money. And somewhere even the spirituality gets lost. At the same time, I have seen people who have a lot of material with them, but spiritually they are not connected. Look at the whole West, America, for example. Plenty of money, but when they actually need peace of mind or meditativeness, where do they come across? They come to India to look at all that. But great will be a time when both can coexist together. And that's the biggest, biggest phenomena that Vani Workshop gives, where spirituality and material both can go hand in hand. In fact, I would like to point out one more aspect, which with energy people, like there are a lot of healers, like there are a lot of people who work on energy. Many people have a wrong notion in the mind that energy and money don't go hand in hand. And that's why many of these healers, they are very, very poor in handling money. And they face vital disturbances in life as a result of that. Somewhere where there's a disharmony, naturally all these things will happen. So, a beautiful blend of spirituality and uh, Materialism is great and that's why I would always say that look at Gautam Buddha 2500 years back born as a king Look at Lord Mahavir born as a king look at Rara Rama born as a king In fact all the meditators have been kings and prince and princes Princesses somewhere we would realize that material and spirituality both can go hand in hand